Pittsburgh. Well, first of all, let's say that this is the first picture. This is the water line. There's another little stream going in, and that's the water line on that side. This is the picture I mentioned before. I took the photograph when I received the command from the card, and when I was again commanded to turn it, I turned it. And you can see here, if you like, the face of a feline, a cat, a jaguar or something, eyes, open mouth. And right there is this lady, here is an enlargement. Here, all right in the middle, black face, white eyes, white hair, body. Yeah. So this is the first one. And then I took this picture, printed it in reverse and joined them to get the composition that you asked before, which is this one here. The hierarchy of the spirits of the jungle. And it looks more impressive upside down. Yeah. Okay. So you asked. Yes, I was invited uh, to a World Healing Congress in Lima, and everybody liked my slight presentation and after that I made many many slideshows in Peru, in Colombia, a little bit in Manaus and Belen de Pará and after that I came to England, I went to North America, I went to St. Petersburg in Russia and of course any number of slide presentations in my home in Cyprus. Uh, am I not right that you've also been to Australia and to South Africa even? I went to Australia but I didn't have a slide presentation in Australia. It was only a very brief visit. No. Uh, and South Africa I had a very good presentation in Port Elizabeth and a very good one in, uh, what do you call it, Cape Town. The one in Port Elizabeth was really very impressive. Uh, when I give the slideshow, Mika. when I give the slideshow, the, I have music, and then at the end, I have a kind of meditation session where I try to explain how we can use our breathing, our breath. If we breathe consciously and we aim at creating love, we can do that simply by our thinking and our conscious breathing. And it seems it touches people. They, they like it and in that session in Port Elizabeth, um, everybody was very touched and it was, I was very, very grateful that I, was, I managed to please them, to, to make them think in some different way, because one of the points I make in my lectures and in my book is that if through such a simple change in point of view by turning a photograph 90 degrees sideways we have the photograph and we turn it sideways and we create magic by simple like that. 
So why not find a parallel way of changing our thinking, turning it sideways 90 degrees or in some parallel way so that we can find solution to all our silly problems in the world. It should be simple. If we can do it with our vision, we could do it with our minds if we try to find a way. Well, uh, yeah, I was uh, interested in finding out the, the famous questions, who am I? What am I here for? These are the important questions that we should all try to face. Of course, I don't have the answer because the answer is very elusive, but it's worth looking for. Did you find people's response to your images to be different in different parts of the world? No, the, the, the only difference I found is that uh, at the beginning I wasn't getting the, the same strong response that I'm getting now. I have a feeling that there is a shift in people's understanding in many ways uh, towards the protection of the environment, the love of Mother Nature and so on. I have a feeling that it is growing and it's a very good thing if I'm right. It's good if it's growing because we need it. We, this is our mother. Nature is our mother. And we have to protect nature against the greed of the multinationals. I mean, when you have idiots like Bush doing what he does against nature, what do you expect?